serious problem prove that uh, integral limit varying from 0 to pi by 2 sin power p theta cos power q theta d theta equal to gamma of p plus 1 by 2 into gamma of q plus 1 by 2 whole divided by 2 times gamma of p plus q plus 2 whole divided by 2. To prove this, we have to take our beta function. The value of beta function is beta of m comma n which is equal to limit varying from 0 to 1 x power m minus 1 into 1 minus x power n minus 1 into dx. So, this is our beta function. Consider this one as equation 1. Take the value of x equal to sin square theta. Then this 1 minus x which is equal to 1 minus sin square theta which is equal to cos square theta because sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1 then 1 minus sin square theta equal to cos square theta. Next we have to find out the value of dx. dx equal to 2 sin theta cos theta d theta because x equal to sin square theta therefore dx equal to 2 sin theta cos theta d theta. Now we have to substitute all these values in equation 1. Before that we have to change the limits. Lower limit is 0, upper limit is 1. Here the lower limit is 0. 0 equal to sin square theta. You know that uh, sin 0 is 0. Therefore, theta equal to 0. So, the lower limit is 0. Consider the upper limit 1. The value of x equal to 1. 1 equal to sin square theta. Sin pi by 2 is 1. Therefore, theta equal to pi by 2. Now the limits are changed from 0 to 1 to 0 to pi by 2. Now the equation 1 becomes beta of m comma n which is equal to limit varying from 0 to pi by 2. Instead of x, we have to put our sin square theta. Therefore, sin power 2m minus 2 into theta. Instead of 1 minus x, we have to put our cos square theta. Therefore, cos power 2n minus 2 into theta. Then instead of dx, we have to write 2 sin theta cos theta d theta. Now this equation is modified as take the 2 outside. 2 into limit varying from 0 to pi by 2. Now we have to combine this sin power 2m minus 2 theta into this sin theta. It is sin power 2m minus 1 into theta. Then combine this cos power 2n minus 2 theta into cos theta. This is cos power 1 theta. Therefore, cos power 2n minus 1 into theta into d theta. So, this is equation 2 here. The left hand side is beta of m comma n. Simply I have combined this sin theta into sin power 2m minus 2 into theta. That is sin power 2m minus 1 into theta. In the same manner cos power 2n minus 2 into theta into cos theta is cos power 2n minus 1 into theta. Now we have to 
write the value of uh, the relation between beta function and the gamma function beta of m comma n equal to gamma of m into gamma of n whole divided by gamma of m plus n say this is equation number 3 this is the relation between beta and uh, gamma function now from the equations 2 and uh, 3 you may write limit varying from 0 to pi by 2 sin 2m minus 1 into theta cos power 2n minus 1 into theta d theta which is equal to gamma m into gamma of n whole divided by 2 times gamma of m plus n. See here if you consider this integral then this 2 comes to the left hand side that is beta of m comma n by 2 but beta of m comma n is this much this is the relation between beta function and gamma function therefore this integral value equal to this by 2 say so this is equation number 4 now put 2m minus 1 equal to p therefore 2m equal to p plus 1 m equal to p plus 1 by 2 in the same manner put the value of 2n minus 1 is equal to q then 2n equal to q plus 1 and n equal to q plus 1 divided by 2 now substitute all these values in equation 4 integral limit varying from 0 to pi by 2 sin instead of 2m minus 1 you have to put p p into theta then cos power instead of 2n minus 1 we have to substitute q q into theta d theta which is equal to instead of m we have to substitute p plus 1 by 2 that is gamma of p plus 1 by 2 into instead of n we have to substitute this value q plus 1 by 2 gamma of q plus 1 by 2 whole divided by 2 into m plus n that is p plus q plus 2 whole divided by 2 just we have added m and n now it is proved inter limit varying from 0 to pi by 2 sin power p theta cos power q theta into t theta equal to gamma of p plus 1 by 2 into gamma of q plus 1 by 2 whole divided by 2 times gamma of p plus q plus 2 by 2 it's proved now see this problem find the value of integral limit varying from 0 to pi by 2 sin power 4x cos power 6x uh, dx here in the above integral the value of p equal to 4 and q equal to 6 you know that limit varying from 0 to pi by 2 sin power p into theta then cos power q into theta d theta which is equal to gamma of p plus 1 by 2 into gamma of q plus 
1 by 2 whole divided by 2 times gamma of p plus q plus 2 whole divided by 2. This is the formula. This integral is in the same form. Instead of theta, x is present. Nothing you would interpret. The value of p equal to 4, q equal to 6. Therefore, integral limit varying from 0 to pi by 2 sin power 4x cos power 6x dx equal to gamma of p plus 1 by 2 here the value of p is 4 4 plus 1 that is 5 gamma of 5 by 2 into gamma of q plus 1 by 2 the value of q is 6 6 plus 1, 7, 7 by 2, whole divided by 2 times gamma of p plus q plus 2, that is gamma of 12 by 2, which is equal to gamma of 5 by 2, gamma of 7 by 2, whole divided by 2 into gamma of 6. Now you have to evaluate the values one by one. See gamma of phi by two, which is equal to gamma of three by two plus one. Gamma of n plus one equal to n gamma n. Therefore, three by two gamma of 3 by 2. This is equal to 3 by 2 into gamma of 1 by 2 plus 1. The general formula is gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n gamma n. In this way, we have to write gamma of 5 by 2 which is equal to 3 by 2 plus 1 that is n plus 1 form. 3 by 2 plus 1 is 5 by 2. This is in the form of gamma of n plus 1. Gamma of n plus 1 equal to n gamma n. That means 3 by 2 gamma of 3 by 2. Once again, this gamma of 3 by 2 is written in this form, n plus 1 form. That is 1 by 2 plus 1 is 3 by 2. Now we have to expand this. This is equal to 3 by 2. n plus 1 is n gamma n. That means 1 by 2 into gamma of 1 by 2. This is 3 by 4. Then gamma of 1 by 2 is root pi. Root pi. Here 1 by 2 gamma equal to root pi. Already we have proved this. Therefore the value of gamma of 5 by 2 is 3 by 4 root pi. Now the value of gamma of 7 by 2. Gamma of 7 by 2 which is equal to gamma of 5 by 2 plus 1 which is equal to 5 by 2 gamma of 5 by 2 this is equal to 5 by 2 into gamma of 5 by 2 is 3 by 4 root pi already we added this gamma of 5 by 2 now gamma of 6 that is equal to 5 factorial because gamma of n equal to n minus 1 factorial. This is the general formula. Gamma of 6 equal to 5 factorial which is equal to 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5. Now we have to substitute all these values in the above equation. It is integral limit varying from 0 to pi by 2 sin power 4x cos power 6x dx which is equal to the value of gamma of 5 by 2 gamma of 5 by 2 is 3 by 4 
8 root 5. Then gamma of 7 by 2 is 15 by 8. 5 into 3, 15, 4 into 2, 8 into root 5. Whole divided by 2 times comma of 6, that is 2 times 5 factorial, that is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5. Now you have to simplify this. This is equal to see here five into three fifteen is fifteen is cancelled out. Then three root pi into root pi pi all divided by 5, 12. If you multiply this, 2 into 2, 4, 4 into 4, 16, then 16 into 32, you can get 5, 12. So that uh, the value of this integral is 3 pi divided by 5, 12.